Hi, welcome to Business Time. I am Melisha. Today, I am going to show you how you can upload your Google Meet recordings into your Google Classroom. So the first thing that you need to know is that Google Meet usually, as soon as you're finished recording, Google will send you an email with your recording to let you know that the meeting has been saved. Now, the message will usually look something like this, meet recordings, right? And then we can click to open it to see what it looks like. So, you know, of course, um, Google will have its own coding, but we will have to change that because our students would not understand what that means. It has the date and the time that the recording took place. Here you have the option to open it in Drive. And if you open it in Drive, you'll be able to see it and also be able to play the recording. Now, we don't want to do that right now so we're gonna we're going to get out of it uh here with the attachment you, you know you could download it we want to organize it in drive first so that's what i would do so i will click organizing drive meet records re meet recordings that's what we would want to organize so we click on it and it will take us to where it has saved it in the drive so here it is that google itself created the meet recordings folder so we see all of our recordings um google not only sends the live video but also it saves the the chat the information that was in the chat whatever was written it also saves it now with this as i was saying let's look at this one the way it is saved it is not going to be possible to understand it if you look above it i renamed the files i renamed it so for easy identification so that my students can easily identify it and i can easily identify it as well so to rename the file what you would do is click on it right click go to rename and i keep the date you can just um, delete everything and save it however you want to save it and so this one will be mob grade 13 let's say just say production and it saves it good so all the recordings are here so this is so beautiful that google just saves everything in the in one folder so there's no confusion so we go over to google classroom so uh so i go into my google classroom I go, I click on cat and then I create an assignment. So this assignment will have all my recordings, class recordings. So when my students connect to it, they will see, be able to see all the recordings. So I'll give a little instruction, um, all the class recordings are here. So they will know. Now to attach it, we click on add. Then we select Google Drive because remember all the recordings are in the Google Drive. So this brings up my entire Google Drive. What all I want to see is the, the recordings. So I will select meet recordings so that I don't have to search for too long. So I'm going to now select the relevant recordings for the my grade 11 class so i can select more than one recordings at the same time or i can just select one after i've done the relevant selection then i click on insert so you'll see right here that all the recordings are attached so now what i'll do now based on how you organize your google classroom you can select which topic you want it to, to be placed on though. I organize mine according to the terms. So for the Christmas term, I want all the Christmas term recordings to be um, under this topic, Christmas term. All right, so when any, when any student goes to the Google Classroom and they want to see the recordings that took place from September to November, they will be able to find it. There's no due date, so 
I want them to immediately access it. So all the students in the group should be able to see it. So I now click assign. I'm going to now check to see if the recording is there. All right, there you go. The recording is there. So that's how you can upload your recordings to Google Classroom. Hope I was able to help. Hope you learned something. See you next time.